Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about ordering fractions. What is this ordering fraction exactly? Uh, is the idea of arranging fractions in either ascending order or descending order. So the main objective of the lesson is for the students to be able to identify the smallest fraction and the biggest fraction in a set of fractions. That is the only way you can be able to arrange them in ascending or descending order. If two or more fractions have the same denominator, the biggest fraction among them is that fraction that has the highest numerator. And when they have the same numerators, the biggest among them is the one that has the least denominator. Example, if you look at all these fractions, they have the same denominator. So to identify the fraction that is the biggest among them is that fraction that has the highest numerator. And you can see from here, 7 is the highest number among this set of numbers. So we consider this as the biggest fraction, followed by this, followed by this, followed by this, and lastly this. So to arrange them in ascending order, you have to start from the smallest, while in descending order, you have to start from the biggest. So in this case, we are going to write them accordingly. 1 over 3 is this list, followed by 2 over 3, then followed by 4 over 3, followed by 5 over 3, and lastly 7 over 3. So 1 over 3 is the least, while 7 over 3 is the biggest. So now let us consider fractions that have the same numerator. Suppose we have Now to identify the biggest fraction here is that fraction that has the least denominator or the smallest denominator. And you can see here 2 is the smallest among these numbers and we are going to consider it as the biggest. And the smallest fraction is that one that has the biggest denominator, which in this case we have 5 over 8. So to write this in ascending order, you have to start from the least. And the least is this one, which is 5 over 8 is the smallest, followed by 5 over 7, followed by 5 over 4, followed by 5 over 3, And lastly, 5 over 2. So 5 over 2 is the biggest fraction here, while 5 over 8 is the least fraction here. So what about if they do not have anything in common, like they do not have denominators in common or numerators in common? So now if you look at these four fractions, they do not have anything in common. You can see their numerators and their denominators are different from one another. So how can we identify the smallest or the biggest fraction here? Still we can manage to find the LCM of the denominators or the numerators. The LCM of these denominators is that smallest number which all of them can go into without remainder. And that LCM is 12, because we have talked about LCM in our previous lesson. Three can go into 12, four can go into 12, six can go into 12, likewise, uh, two can go into 12. So, we are going to transform each of these denominators to 12. So we have a fraction over 12, 
fraction over 12, a fraction over 12, a fraction over 12. This is the first step. Now, what number will you multiply 3 with to get 12? That number is 4 because 4 times 3 is 12. And in equivalent fraction, remember in our previous lesson, we say any number you use on multiplying denominator, you have to use the same number to multiply denominator in order to get an equivalent fraction. So 4 times 3 is 12. So we are going to say 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, this and this are equivalent. Our main target is just to transform them in such a way they will have a common denominator. We know 3 times 4 is 12. We are going to use that 3 to multiply the top number. 3 times 1 is still 3. So this and this are equivalent. 6 times 2 is 12. So we are going to multiply the numerator by 2. 2 of 10, 10, because 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 2 is 12. So we are going to say 6 times 3, we know is 18. Now you can see we have common denominator. So to identify the smallest one is that one that has the smallest numerator. And the biggest fraction here is that one that has the biggest numerator. So this is the biggest fraction here, while this is the smallest. So we are going to start with this one. This is the smallest, followed by this, followed by this, and lastly, this. But you can see 3 over 4 is this 1 over 4. So we write 1 over 4 first, followed by 8 over 12, which is 2 over 3. Then we'll move to this one, 10 over 12, which is the same thing as 5 over 6. And lastly, we have 3 over 2, which is the same thing as 18 over 12. So now we have written our fractions in their ascending order from the smallest to the biggest. But if we are talking about descending, we have to start from the biggest to the smallest. Written in this form, 3 over 2, followed by 5 over 6, followed by 2 over 3, and then lastly 1 over 4. So this is ascending order, and this is descending order. Another way you can find this is to transform the numbers into their decimal form. So you can directly grab your calculator and start dividing. We have 2 over 3, which is the same thing, or approximately equal to um, 0 0.66 repeating. And the other one, we have 1 over 4 which is 0 0.25, 5 over 6, which is 0 0.8, 3, 3 recording. And lastly, we have 3 over 2, which is the same thing as 1.5. Now we have transformed all this fractions into their decimal form is left for us to identify the biggest decimal number here. The biggest decimal number here is 1.5 and therefore we consider this one as the biggest. And the list here is 0 0.25 which is 1 over 4. So we can say this is the smallest which corresponds to this. We have 1 over 4. Uh, followed by, you see, this is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, in that order. So we have this, then followed by this, which corresponds to this, 2 over 3. We are done with this, we are done with this, followed by this, 5 over 6. And lastly, we have 3 over two. So you can either transform them to their decimal form, then you obtain the least decimal number that correspond to our fraction, you write it down in that order, or you can transform their numerators or their denominators to be exactly the same 
using the idea of equivalent fraction to identify the least and the greatest fraction. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.